I soon do a bit review with your host, Allison the soon do a bitch. Today's review is water world with no fuck sake. Today's review, Moana, fucking finally. And so I told her, uh, oh, cameras on. By Jove, this is the most magnificent film of the decade. Spoilers. This is an adaptation of the Percy Jackson books. So the film begins with Kevin Costner climbing inside an island that is actually a giant earth goddess. I would make a joke about being inside a giant earth goddess, but the last time we did she crushed my house. So the film begins with Moana singing about how she wants more, she wants to see, wants to see the fish swimming, but her dad's like, You don't want more. And she's like, I do want more. And so her grandmother is like, For fuck's sake, you want more? Here's a rock, here's a boat. The fucking island is dying. Go and save it by getting Kevin Costner. And so Moana leaves on the boat with her brain damaged chicken and travels across the ocean and saves Kevin Costner from being stuck on a desert island. Then they just go and try to get his sword back from a singing crab that probably has a gold fetish. But on the way they're stopped by sentient coconut things on a large boat and focus heavily on how the boats work before the sentient coconuts fuck off out of the film. I was sentient coconut once. I will never again smoke aspen mixed with heroin after dining some LSD. Doesn't end well. So anyway, they travel across the ocean again, focusing heavily on how their boat works, and come across a giant lava monster. Kevin Carson tries to fight it and ends up breaking his sword. Don't worry, this happens to a lot of guys like you. So anyway, Moana and Kevin Costner fight. They're split up. And then she talks to her grandmother who is a pan denial water spirit. Her grandmother tells Moana that you have the power of finding paths across the ocean. It's almost as if you could call her a pathfinder. So Moana decides to go and try and take on the lava monster using her awesome sealing techniques. But Kevin Costner just comes in as an eagle and helps her and she gets to the island. But then she finds out that the giant lava monster was in fact just the first off form of the Earth Goddess Island. So she just gives her back a heart, Kevin Costner gets his sword fixed, and Moana goes home to her island and her people. So Waterworld is the most magnificent film of the decade, apart from the mutant fish people, the pedophilia, and the selling your kids into sex slavery. But enough about Waterworld, let's talk about Moana, because it is the most magnificent film of the decade. It starts with Blazing on by, there's nothing more that I can do. I'm sorry that I'll never be with you again. Even though my heavy heart is parched with pain. 